In yesterday's video, we made a simple homemade contraption that'll convert plastic two liter bottles into hundreds of feet of plastic string. We ended up making over 1200 feet of this plastic string, so for this video, I thought it'd be fun to bring back our rope making machine and wind these strands together to see if we could make ourselves a genuine plastic rope. Now the two main questions I saw in my rope making video were how do you make a longer rope and what would happen if you were to take three fully made ropes and wind them together on the rope making machine? Well you're in luck because today we're going to answer both of those questions at the same time we experiment with our plastic string. Now in my original rope making tutorial I took these two devices and clamped them to either end of my workbench and strung a line between them. So if you want to make your rope longer all you have to do is increase the distance between them. So for today's rope making experiment, why don't we take our spinner hook unit and clamp it right here to the head of my workbench. And we'll take the back end unit and clamp it across the room to a counter 20 feet away. Now since we've increased the distance of our rope machine, we're also gonna need to increase the distance of our guidelines as well. So I went down to the Home Depot and picked up a couple packs of 50 foot paracord. This just gives us the option to run our machine out 50 feet long if we ever feel like doing that. So let's go ahead and bust out some cords and line our machine. Beautiful thing when a plan comes together. There we go. Nice so tight. So good news guys, in a couple of minutes we got our rope machine all set up. The guide wires are nice and tight and the slider moves easily between both ends. So just for fun I went ahead and measured out the distance between these two contraptions and it runs about 22 feet. And since a two liter bottle makes about 95 feet of rope, we're gonna need about one and a half bottles to make this length of rope here. And you know how it works from here. We're gonna take our string, thread it between all the hooks, then take a power drill and wind them all together. So let's hook these suckers up and get spinning. I think I'm gonna start out with green, just cause that's kind of unique. All right, there's one and a half hooks done and I don't think we're gonna make it back with this. And we shouldn't need nearly as much. Just Cool. So we got all of our lines strung and as anticipated it took one and a half soda bottles to string this line. I'm really curious to see how this works out now. It's looking really good. So it's time to hook up our drill, get spinning, and see exactly what happens. Oh wow, it's going. It's already making the rope. That's good news. It means we might actually have some success. Sweet, look at that. We actually did it. We made a genuine piece of soda bottle rope. Now because this is so long, I did have to guide the spacer forward with my hand at times to release some of the tension because I felt like the rope was gonna break. But once it got within about four feet, it just went on its own, no problem. There you have it guys. There is our length of soda bottle cordage. Now we started off with about 22 and a half feet of cords and after it wound the tension into it, this rope turned out being 18 and a half feet. So it looks like it shrunk in size by about four feet. If you look really closely, you can see it does actually resemble a three-stranded rope. Now, because the fibers were a little bit wider than sisal or any other kind of fiber, it gives it a little bit more of a rough appearance, a rough texture. Dang, that looks pretty cool. Nice, shiny, and green. It's kind of pretty. This actually worked out pretty well. I'm very encouraged. So let's rig up our machine and make two more.
Beautiful. There it is, boys. Two down, one to go. Okay, I'm gonna release the tension here. Update guys, we have finished three different strands of three-stranded rope and they're looking pretty good. So what would happen if we rigged these three lines up to our machine and wound them again? Is it possible to wind a three-strand rope out of three-strand rope? This is Ropeception. Guys, I'm excited. This is the moment of truth. We have our three strands hooked up to our rope making machine to make another rope and it's time to pull the trigger. But there is an important thing we need to keep in mind. Whenever we're making a rope out of three-stranded rope, we need to spin the hooks the opposite direction. If we spin the ropes the same way we did when we originally created them, they'll actually undo themselves this time. So we need to flip our drill into reverse and spin the hooks the opposite way. You can see that when we spin the hooks this direction, it actually tightens the rope. It makes it harder, which is exactly what we want. We don't want it to undo itself. We want it to get tighter. Will it work? We're about to find out. Here we go. It's not perfect, but that is looking more like a rope. So check that out guys, we took three of our ropes, put them together and made them into another rope. And this stuff is looking pretty legit. It's uh, a little rough, but it looks a lot more like a rope, handles like a rope, and looks incredibly strong. Now just to go one step further, why don't we take this stuff, cut it into thirds, and run one more cable three times as thick. That's kind of cool, huh? All right, let's tape it off. All good. Beauteous. Success! We have done it, guys. We've made a beautiful three-stranded rope out of three-stranded rope out of three-stranded rope. The total thickness of our rope now is nearly half an inch. It's extremely strong, extremely durable, and surprisingly, it actually looks like a rope. I'm not sure how practical it is to make a rope out of plastic bottles, but you can definitely see it's possible. So let's recap what we've done here today. We start off with small strands of plastic soda bottle string that we made from a homemade contraption using nothing but a piece of wood and a hunting knife. We hooked those strings up to a homemade rope making machine and wound them together to make three different three-stranded ropes, which are very cool by themselves, but if that wasn't enough, we took that rope and cut it into thirds and made one final rope. A rope within a rope within a rope. Ropeception. So very, very cool to see that this idea works, guys. We took plastic bottles, turned them into string, and used the string to make PET rope. It's very, very thick, very, very durable, and can most likely lift hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Thanks for joining me for this project today. I'll be looking for you in the next one. Talk to you then. And you can take this and braid it again and make another rope. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be super strong. It's a Christmas wreath made out of plastic bottles. Yeah. Just kind of hurts the hands a little bit. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. And remember, I'm giving away prizes now on every new video. All you have to do to qualify is subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, and select to be notified when my next videos get released. The secret link to my giveaways will be pinned in the comments for the first 12 hours. If you like what I'm doing, show your support right now by giving this video a big thumbs up and share with a friend. I love you back, and I'll see you next time.